FASTA is a heuristic approach, so as compared to dynamic programming, it is more efficient and quick. And uh, it was written by Lipman and Pearson in 1985. So it can perform optimized searches uh, for local alignments. So now uh, we take two sequences and we are interested in uh, their local alignments or we take a sequence and we are searching against the whole database. So in this way, we can do those local alignments. So we also use substitution matrices here. It allows determination of hundreds of thousands of sequences present together in the database uh, that may be potentially related to your sequence. We call it as uh, a search um, space as far as that database is concerned. And the sequence you present to this algorithm or this uh, software is called as query. So we take the query and we search in the whole database and we try to get the similar sequences. Uh, what is a heuristic approach? So heuristic is uh, any approach uh, that may not come up with the exact solution, but it is real quick and it gives you some optimal or close to optimal solutions. But it is good for immediate goals and uh, it can serve for the purpose. Let's look into some of the properties of this FASTA algorithm. This, uh, remember guys, this word is uh, in the beginning it was FAST A. Uh, we call it as FASTA and the same way we get those uh, FASTA sequence uh, which we use in our most of the time the way we represent our sequences in the databases is FASTA format. So the uh, same people they came up with that format also. So it's a heuristic algorithm, quick algorithm for shows immediate goals. It takes more execution time than BLAST. BLAST is another fancy algorithm. We'll talk about that in a later on sections. BLAST stands for basic local alignment search. So it is better for nucleotides than for proteins and it compares DNA to DNA and protein to protein. So FASTA has uh, some specific parameters uh, features. So it uses uh, K tuples. So it takes the small size segments. So it takes your sequence and break that sequence into those short fragments. And for those fragments, it looks into the similarities within those databases. So we call them as K tuples. Generally one or two proteins, uh, four to six for DNA sequence alignments is good for them. So increasing K tuple value creates less sensitive searches but we can have more speed. The gap penalties are like this. Gap opening penalty is minus 12 for proteins and minus 16 for DNA and extension penalty is generally minus 2 for proteins and minus 4 for DNA. And then it sets the maximum number of reported scores or alignments in an uh, output files. So here is how it works. So we take sequence A and we take sequence B and within those sequences uh, we try to look into those small chunks or fragments we align them together and then we see that in around a diagonal line we have most of those similarities so we have all those segments we call them uh, runs of identities some smaller lengths and some larger length fragments what we do next is uh, we take those fragments and we rescore uh, using some matrices like PAM matrices and then we keep the top scoring segments. So rest of them, they are trimmed out. Then we join those segments which are retained, which have some scores uh, which is above some threshold with one another. And then we do some dynamic programming to optimize those alignments. We try to bring them further close and in this region in the middle, these are the segments which are highly related with one another. So here is how we get a summary of the results which FASTA gives us. So we have sequence length 54, tells about the program and then we have some expectation upper value uh, sequence range. Uh, we will look into these parameters in a little bit detail later on when we'll talk about those scoring schemes. So this is how your output is displayed. Sequence type tells us that this is a protein and then there is the version of that software which has been used. The matrix used was below some 50. Number of scores 50. The word size it used was 2 and gap extension penalty was minus 2 whereas gap open penalty was minus 10. The output looks like this. So we have those 
after seeing those parameters and after running that uh, we get those outputs so on the top most for this sequence uh, we have this alpha amylase uh, protein at the top so that has 93.61 percent similarity and identity is 85.106 guys the difference between identity and similarity is two things are identical exactly same and similarity is they are pretty close similar enough so we can look into those substitution matrices and we can come up with two amino acids looking at those scores and they can be similar or they cannot be similar so similarities are always higher than identities the total length of that protein is this one and the overlap between these two is 47 whereas an e value which is a scoring scheme are calculated we will look into that in a later section so that is 4.7 e minus 13 so these uh, normally those low e's are lower the good these alignments they are displayed like this uh, with us with those uh, scoring colors so highly similar segments are placed at the top and showing with this red one so they have up to the highest similarity the segments are the actual sequence is right here and these are the sequence which are close to it so first one which we have seen in the previous section so that is right here and then we have seven this next one and, and so on and so on so in this way and they are put together and those colors they also tell us the strength of those uh, similarities so more similar red ones then followed by blue then followed by these yellow ones there are different variants of fast a you can look into it so they are different for uh, different purposes so fast uh, fasta can perform uh, optimized searches for local alignments it uses substitution matrix and uh, it is a heuristic uh, algorithm